This is Jesus speaking to a crowd not very different from us. A crowd who lived in an occupied country. A crowd where despair was a daily thing. He stands up and he says this. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life. What you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? Who of you, by worry, can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom, his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. That last verse, I say to myself every single day. When I feel overwhelmed, and we're coming to the end of a school year. I'm not thinking about the end of this year. I'm thinking about the beginning of next year. How will we come back to school? How will we come back to school? What will petrol prices be? How can teachers afford to get to school? How can parents afford the bus? What's going to happen? And I remember this verse. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Let's just pray for these young children as they come down the stairs. Father, we thank you for what we're going to see in front of us this evening. We thank you for young lives, young lives that are hopeful, that have no idea of what this country is going through, young lives who are the future of this country. We pray for them. We know you love them. We pray that you will bless them, bless the families represented here on this court this afternoon. Pour out your blessings on them. Take care of them. Take care of their health. Take care of their daily needs, Father. We ask this in the name of the great King. Amen.
of our graduation parade. Thank you very much for coming. Don't forget we need to maintain social distancing. Thank you so much for coming. But it would be remiss of me not to say thank you to the pe people that have made this year possible through unbelievably <laughs> difficult circumstances. So to the teachers, the great teachers, thank you for teaching even when it was absolutely impossible. You're wonderful. Uh, yes, you can take as many pictures as you like down here. And as you leave, just put the gown, someone will be there to take the gown. So please feel free to do that. Thank you very much indeed. Have a lovely evening. It is a lovely evening, isn't it? Congratulations.